Hello, everybody, and welcome to Backpack Battles. I'm Heron Steinbear, and it has been far too long since we did a Reaper run, so we're going to jump into it. I've been seeing some pretty insane poison builds coming out of Reaper, so I figured we could go ahead and give it a shot today. I mean, they're just handing me all kinds of stuff here on sale, so we're going to buy them all. Uh, might as well take the stone as well, throw that in the bag. I don't know if we'll win the first round with this setup, but you know, everything was on sale. So it was essentially free. Uh, we will be able to stack a little bit more poison on our enemy here, but the spear was too much for us to overcome. That's all right. Uh, another on sale item. Uh, frying pan is probably going to be pretty good here. I'll actually put that there and that there. There we go and get started. You know, maybe I should. I could sell all of these and get that shield probably. Yeah, two boop, 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 and do. There we go. And then we'll have a little bit of defense as well. To, uh, yeah, defend us from exactly this kind of build, wooden swords. You should definitely have your Goobert uh, being activated by your wooden swords there, friend. It's doing literally nothing in your bag like that. So that there, get a piggy bank. Uh, and then oh, Hungry Blade on sale, but I don't have any regen, so it's not going to do anything. Um... Yeah, I'm not going to bother with it because it's. I, I would need the regen to go along with it. Take a stone, save that. I guess we keep going. Look, definitely looking for, if we're going to do some of the poison, uh, a strong poison run like I've seen other people doing, we're definitely going to want to find a goobert to get a poison goobert going. Uh, probably do Venomancer when we get to our subclass round, so we'll take the snake there. And then... Uh, another piggy on sale, another banana. There's our Goobert. Grab that bag as well. All right, cool. So we're looking good. We're going to want to keep an eye out for another uh, mushroom to uh, be able to create our poison Goobert. And then after that, uh, we'll need our scythe to double up on our poison itself. So probably put you there you there uh, we don't have our second mushroom yet so that is gonna be a little bit of a problem you know, I could do that there and then that there and then I at least get a little bit more activations out of that there we go um, yeah, okay. That should keep us alive at least to get through the next couple rounds. We got a little bit of a pyromancer coming out here, but I think we've got them under wraps. I don't think we have too much to worry about from them. Yeah, that's a quick one. That's a quick one. Win number four. Let's go. All right. And again, another hungry blade like that would have been I 100% should have taken that other one and went like a mana thirst. It's a little late for that. Now I think there's that other mushroom we're looking for. So we take that we take the stamina bag. Um, I need to get both of these so both of these next to the goobert there. So maybe I do something like that instead. Uh, grab the blueberry because it will help my activations with Goobert once we got that going. And then we get started. And I realize I should have the piggies together so we can get the maximum health. It's not super worried about it now, seeing as just an extra like four max health. Uh, and uh, we're kind of more worried about getting stuff combined at this point. Grab a on sale corrupted crystal absolutely yes please um part of me wonders if i should go for the pandemonium which will give us some uh extra poison from that because our food will then inflict poison but corrupted crystal will give us a bunch of armor as we're inflicting poison 
Hmm. 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 I mean, we could always get another one later. So yeah, maybe I keep going like that. Uh, perfect. And then by you. All right. So yeah, we really want to find a scythe. Uh, I will probably. Hmm, I can put you there, you there, and then we get our bonus for our piggies there. Hold on to the, actually, no, 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 sell that stone, throw you there, there we go. All right, and that's good, that's good, perfect. All right, proceeding onwards, we should have a decent amount of poison going out this time. Uh, and decent amount of max health, we're only 12 behind the pyromancer with a full fire pit, so that's good. And yeah, look at that, 20 poison pretty easily. Bam, good to go. I mean, this is nothing special, uh, but now that we have our subclass, we got our Venomancer here, and uh, we can throw it there. Um, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe put you there, and there's our Scythe. Sell one of those by the Scythe. Probably sell, end up selling both of those pigs. Uh, I need to have this here. So, or actually, because I'd like to get the pandemonium also. I don't think, let's see. If I do. I put that like there. No, I still can't get all three. This was super close to being able to get all three because like I had have that, but then I can't get the, all right, let's just empty the bag and see where we're at here. Uh, so first of all, we want to pull out our haste bags so we know that we're using those effectively. You can go there, and then I want, or actually, slide that over, you go there, or there, and then do something like that. Um, I guess you go there. There, there. There, uh, there. Okay, that gets all of those, but then that's super far away from that goober. So we're definitely not getting both of those in that. Uh, so I almost feel like I want to kind of bring it like up top, like there. You go there. And then that goes there, that goes there, that goes there, and, oh wait, that blueberry should be there. Hmm. I need one more food item, but I want to use the blueberry for activations. Uh... This could, if I did something like that, could go there, but then I don't have, hmm. All right, uh, so I'm gonna kind of go back to the drawing board a little bit uh, and really just focus on what I was doing originally because originally my plan didn't involve the, uh, the pandemonium at all. Actually, there we go, that works. I lose, uh, I only lose one food activation spot there. Granted, I do, um, yeah, that's, I do only have one, um, 
one star on this right side filled in. But I think that's okay. I think that's okay. Um, I will need more bag space. I can't fit my spike shield in there. But again, that's okay. Yeah, I think I'm good with starting with that. At least for now, I am going to save that Corrupted Crystal because I want that to place in some armor later on. Or to place back in my shield, really. I can just put it there. Uh, yeah, so we're already up to 54, 60, 67 freaking poison damage. Like, it's nothing. Just, like, no big deal. Uh, probably buy that. Because I would like to get another scythe, maybe, or even like a dark saber later, uh, to utilize some of these debuffs we're applying. And yeah, so as we're applying debuffs, we should be getting armor. There we go. There it is. Easy, easy win. Building up poison like fucking crazy. There's that. Grab another uh, stamina bag. Pestilence flask, I should definitely take on sale. I don't have the room to store it yet. <clears throat> you know what? Actually, I'm going to replace it with... I replaced the heroic potion with it so we can turn it into a strong pestilence flask. And start applying some poison. There it is. Already up to 40, 50, 60, 70. Fucking A, man. It's so insane how quickly you apply poison uh, with not just the poison goobert, but the snake itself applies a ton of poison. Um, let's see, does it poison here? So the snake applied 20, poison goobert applied 30, pandemonium applied 23, and uh, I don't know if this is counting the doubling from the death scythe, but yeah, it's nuts. And then once I get to uh, 35, every this weapon gains 50% crit chance, so then we're doing extra damage with our scythe uh, immediately. Grab the blueberry there uh, and a crown. Why not? Especially with it on sale. Um, hmm. I think I want to kind of bring that down, put that there and then do something like that. And uh, gloves I can save, especially since we have the blood amulet that'll let us speed up our snake, or I guess we could alternatively speed up the death scythe, uh, but the snake is, is applying a bunch of poison. Man, look how quickly it just stacks on there. 60, 70, 80, just like it's nothing. It's our ninth win in... 12 or 11 rounds we've lost twice so far uh one of them was the first round though so i honestly don't even really count that as a loss uh just because uh it's so the first round is always so unpredictable always very unpredictable there's another on sale pestilence flask let's fucking go um however now i need to figure out i think i'm gonna sell that pig uh, because I would really like to be able to use all of this together. Uh, I could do that there, there. Yeah, okay, so that goes there, that goes there. Heroic Flask comes there. Uh, granted, I'm not using all my stars on the Death Scythe, but I like having all three of these uh, within the Death Scythe, so I'm okay with losing out on three of my stars there. Perhaps it's not the most optimized, but I, I enjoy it. it. Makes me feel good about myself. And hey, I'm kicking this Reaper's ass. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I won that one and they had their uh, death site. They only had two slots missing. They definitely should have had the snake in there somewhere, though. Uh, but also my stake is benefiting from its proximity to the Goobert. Uh, giving me extra maximum health. So that was, I mean, that was huge. If I had 20 less health, they, I would have been down to only 12 there. So that was a big deal. Let's jump into survival, see if we can't close this thing out. 
Hello everybody and thank you so much for watching the video today. If you haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and do so. We're trying to hit a thousand subscribers and we're getting closer every day. We can't do it without your help. If you'd like to help the channel more directly, you can join a YouTube membership by clicking the link in the description, getting access to the member exclusive discord, early access to videos, and a shout out in every video like Jacob Burns. Thank you so much, Jacob, for your continued support. I'll let you get back to the video and I hope you're all having a great rest of your day. See ya. Uh, with 16 wins, we're on track for 16. So uh, I think I want to try and uh, get a corrupted. I guess I could just do that, honestly, get some corrupted armor. And I don't think I'm going to go for another Goobert. Uh, for a second, I kind of thought about it, but I don't know. I don't think that's really the way to go. It'd be nice to get the another 30 max health from the snake. But honestly, I think it would just kind of clog things up in my bag a little bit. Oh, man, it's so crazy how quickly we stacked that poison. Already up to 60, 80, 90. Oh, didn't break 100, though. Didn't break into triple digits, but that's all right. We got our 11th win. We got our corrupted armor. That's going to help cleanse us from, uh, from being... Uh, cleanse us from getting more poison on us all right um kind of want to bring it up here because then i can get credit for two dark items uh, but i'll need to move some other stuff around if i do that there's another pestilence flask probably grab that save the mushroom there all right let's see what we can do here so that can go there that could go there. Hmm. Okay, and then I just move you up there. Slide those over. There's that. You can go back in there. Um. You go back in there. I need another bag to put this there. But I can put you there to make a strong pestilence flask. Um, all right. All right. I think, you know what? I think I'm going to actually do that instead of the heroic potion because I don't know if we really have a stamina problem at the moment. Do that. No, it doesn't really change anything. Maybe put another thing over here to move that garlic up eventually. Eventually. Ooh, bunch of dragons here. We got a dragon nest build. Let's see if we can beat their healing. I think we got it in by a bunch, though. Oh, maybe not. They're doing a lot of damage to us. Oh, oh we got over that 100 uh, poison number. But yeah, they uh, they took us out first. I mean, what was their healing like? They must have healed a bunch, right? Not really. 90, 90 damage. Uh, but yeah, we dealt... Oh, wait, that's not the uh, entire thing. Yeah, so they, they healed close to 200 damage there. We dealt 261 in poison. Uh, but yeah, they just uh, had too much damage in coming at us. Or we didn't have enough survivability. That's the other way to look at it. We need that corrupted crystal back so we can get our... Uh, so we can get our... Put that there, that there, and then you can go there. Uh, the corrupted crystal will let us have our... There we go. Oh, now I don't have money for that. No. Oh, well. You go there, you go there, you go there. It sells for three. Uh, Corrupted Crystal will give us some extra armor, though, so that's pretty good. And, yeah, we'll just go ahead and get started there. Beautiful. Going up against Gutter Bones, see how we do. Uh, keeping our 
armor up a little bit better. Nice. There's 40 poison. They are resisting quite a bit of our poison, but I don't think it matters because they're at 50, uh, about to be at 60. Yeah, I mean, sorry, buddy. Don't know what to tell you here. Your battle rage is going to run out soon, and then you're going to take 80 damage really quick. Oh, you know what? This is getting scary. Oh, no. Oh, talk about a close match down to the wire. Every poison counted on that one. Uh, 504 poison damage we had to deal with them or deal to them. Uh, that vampirism that they had was fucking uh, keeping them in it like crazy. 17 vampirism they ended up with. Uh, and we didn't break the triple digits poison, but they had a lot of poison resistance. That was like our freaking nemesis right there. All right. Um, so we should be able to pull these all down throw you up top i'm gonna get another crown for a little bit more healing i think that's probably more important than uh trying to squeeze another scythe in here granted another scythe could be ridiculously silly because then we're gonna have uh crazy amounts of poison but we already have crazy amounts of poison so i think we can kind of pull off the rest of this going up against steel goobert with a thorn whip they're gonna have lots of damage scaling so we need to take them out pretty quickly. And you know what? I don't think we have a problem with that because we're a triple digit poison again. 111, 117. Let's go. These poison builds are getting insane. Um, all right. So I do get the luck from the snake. Uh, but I don't really want to get rid of it with gingerbread Jerry. So sorry, Jerry, you're not... You're not coming with me today. We're throwing another corrupted crystal on our corrupted armor. Throw another one of those. Get rid of heroic potion. Uh, might be a bad idea, but whatever. Whatever. Go ahead and throw you there to speed our snake up even more. And I wonder what our snake speed is at between our vampiric gloves and everything else. Uh, and being in two haste bags and everything. So let's... Uh, Vampiric gloves activate. There we go. And then the snake, 1.4 seconds uh, it is activating. So every 1.4 seconds, we're applying four poison with the snake. There's 116, 123, and they revive. Oh, that's all right. That's all right, because you keep all your poison through death. 159 poison. I think we're up over 160 at one point. Uh, yeah, that I mean, 736. Yeah, we were at 161 was our maximum amount there. Uh, 736 damage we dealt. Uh, I mean, you know what? They didn't, you know, nothing to shake a stick at. They dealt over 500 damage to me, and I just, uh, where's my healing coming from? Oh, that vampirism. Yeah, that was huge. Um, glowing crowns, obviously huge help. Bananas helping as well. All right. And here we are on to the final round. Uh, so let's see what we can do here. Uh, clearly don't need the heroic potion. Another haste bag. I guess I could put you there. Throw you there. Speed my snake up even more. Um, blood amulet for a little bit more vampirism. Wouldn't hurt. And uh, this doesn't really... Isn't really going to do anything. Hmm. Yeah, because there's really no way I can fit it in. Uh, guess I could take this. Put you there. You there. You go back there. You go there. And then that goes there. Or... Like that. That's probably okay. I know the mushroom activates slower than the 3.85. Yeah, I mean, it's only three tenths of a second. Oh, never mind. It's uh, about a second difference. So it is a, a decent amount. Uh, but yeah, we're still, even with resistances, we're still in the triple digit poisons. Uh, oh, but we lost that one. Oh my God. Fucking double axe coming in clutch for that guy as well as battle rage reducing. Cause I mean, 130 poison damage. They survived. Good for you. 
Good for you. Luckily, you had that uh, all that poison resistance too, because you def they definitely would have been gone otherwise. Uh, I mean, we dealt five hundred plus points of damage, so their uh, healing came into effect as well. Their vampirism, man, that was a really fun run. These <laughs> reapers and their poison builds. Unfortunately, this is just about all that the reaper can do currently in the game. They don't really have much else working for them it's basically just poison builds but it can't deny it was a blast to uh put together hopefully you enjoyed watching the video if you did please go ahead and hit that like button if you enjoy content like this go ahead and subscribe i put out a new video every single day so there's always something to watch uh, if you have any comments on this build or any other builds you'd like to see me try or any other games you think I'd like to play, I'd love to hear from you. So let me know in the comments. And if you want to interact further with the Herrenstein Bear community, you can click the link down in the description to get access to our member exclusive discord, early access to all the videos I post. And of course, at our highest tier, a shout out in every single one of our videos like Jacob Burns. Thank you so much, Jacob, for your continued support. To everyone else out there who's been liking, watching, commenting, and subscribing, you're all awesome as well. So thank you. And until next time, I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you then. Bye.